The Speaker, Kabira Joto, bemoaned the presentation of the Chairman of the State Internal Revenue Services, Mr. Ibnidu Ine, over the nine-page brief brought before the House. He said the Internal Revenue Services should tighten their belt and improve in their revenue drive as it is presently affecting the developmental stride of the State Governor, Mr. Godwin Obaseki. <laughs> Achieving our mission and our vision, we stand on certain core values of integrity, innovation, transparency, and rival professionalism. Some members made attempts to intervene to the speaker to accept the brief the way it was. The brief presented by the chairman, the Tower Revenue, be accepted considering the reasons adduced. We are in a transitional period. The, if Mr. Speaker can, in your uh, normal benevolence, sir, can allow them to get back to you in a, a month or two on details of this, and through you we know what is going on there. I believe that we can give them a second chance so that uh, at the end of the day, the chairman will personally come to your office and submit a comprehensive brief yes. to your office. The speaker, however, told the chairman of the state internal revenue service to resubmit the brief before the state house for assembly within two weeks. Commissioners for Education, Christopher Desotu, Antony General, and Commissioner for Justice, Yinka Omorugbe, and the head of service, Gladys Idaho, who stood in for the secretary to the state government, Barista Ogi, also submitted their reports. Meanwhile, the speaker, Kabira Joto, has constituted an 11-man ad hoc committee to be headed by Chris Okabe to visit some companies operating in the state in a bid to complement the industrialization drive of the state governor, Mr. Godwin Obaseki. Another ad hoc committee to be headed by the majority leader, Roland Asoro, was also constituted to go around ongoing projects in the state. The speaker, Kabira Joto, also mandated the House Committee on head to hold meetings with all the primary health officers in a bid to repositioning the health sector in local government areas. A FOSA one reporting.